I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor for the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May your mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy Lord that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in our nineteen love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. The high priest rose up and all of his companions, that is, the party of Sedent Jews, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sahedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them, as to what they would come to. When someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Amen. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let the soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cries of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together exalt his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry the of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the cry of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believed in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not, who does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Thirdly, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come towards the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done by God, as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. God, God gave his only son to the world so that we might be saved through him with faith in his saving power, your prophet to the Father. For the church and all believers, may the, Lord, the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life in the Spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God lead them into the hid glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the coronavirus and for all the blessed repose of all who have died from this illness, as well as for the scientists and public health workers, that they may soon find a remedy for this global crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions that have been submitted in our book of prayers on our website and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the soul of Joe and Rod, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father of love and mercy, we ask that you hear and answer our prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we are received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, Lord, with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
May our sacrifice in your sight be steady, patient, Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord, Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the cause of the church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant me pray. Thus we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by your worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously than Christ of us. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took breath, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, save Savior of the world, world, for by your, your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Philippe our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant John, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember, Lord, also our 
our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the three apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirits offer each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my group, but then only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Hallelujah. An act of spiritual communion. My I Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from the coronavirus and all seasons in us. For all who have died from it, have mercy. For those who are real now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers helping the sick, send them to heal them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those who pray, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your prayers, may you turn the evil of the disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we always fear the contagion of sin more.